Good morning. Yes, with the round of applause. Thank you. Good morning. Welcome to Swift Heroes 2025. Welcome to Uchi, Uchi Cinema here in Turin. Welcome back if it's uh, another year for you at Swift Heroes. Welcome as well to everybody who's connected online, wherever you are in the world and however you're situated. I don't know, home office, camper van, don't tell me if you're on the beach, please. Thank you so much for joining us um, for this year's show. And I know there's a lot of you connected and we are looking forward to you being part of this year's event. How do we get you guys involved in the show? How can you participate? How can you make comments? How can you ask questions to the speakers? That's what you want to know. Um, so you've got two options if you're in the room with me here. First of all, we will have microphones, just like this one, available for you to ask questions. So you put your hand up nicely, you wait for the microphone and you ask your question, okay? Please wait for the microphone because if you don't, we can't hear you and the people at home definitely can't hear you, okay? So even if you think you're a great projector, right? Few of us here, hello. Um, wait for the microphone, we're good on that. There might be a few of you as well that don't like speaking in public. Hello, introverts. Um, and that's okay as well. You've got an option, two options actually. First option, you can go onto the event platform. You've had emails, you click, you log in, all the information's there, okay? Go onto the event platform. You can ask your question in the chat bar and we'll ask the question for you here with the microphone, okay? Second option, new Swift Heroes Slack channel. Round of applause for the new Swift Heroes Slack channel, please. Yes. All right, so you should have got an email this morning with the information. If not, phones out, QR code. Someone tell me it's working. Great, thank you so much. Um, so you can join the Slack channel. Um, you're all experts, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's a few different options on there. You can look at the general information, you can see what's happening today, and there should be a bit that's um, labeled questions and answers, something like that. Post your question there as well. Again, we'll ask the speakers, okay? It also means if we haven't got time for questions or in the event that a question comes to you, you know, a bit after, after you've been thinking, you can pop your question there and the speakers can also respond on Slack, okay? I think that seems quite useful. It's quite a good upgrade for this year, isn't it? Everybody at home, you are cleverly already on the event platform. So all you have to do is pop your question in the chat bar. We'll do the talking part. You've also got the Slack option, so get on there, and you can make your comments, same as everybody else in the room. So we're good with how to be involved, yes? Uh -huh. Looking forward to lots of questions, start thinking now. And you can also be active on social. Um, I think we generally use mostly LinkedIn and Instagram this year, hashtag Swift Heroes 25, okay? Photos, posts, all that sort of thing. Um, all of you very busy on there. Last thing to say at an organization point is problems, questions, things you're not sure about, ideas. Come and find myself or any of my colleagues in the orange t-shirts and we'll be very happy to help you. Staff are all in orange, so if you see any of them, we can help you out, okay? Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to share with you is two bits of news about Swift Heroes. They're both important. One is really obvious and one is practically invisible, but we thought it was important to share them with you. The first is, welcome to the new venue. Yeah, you all got that, Mamo, yeah? Um, how are you enjoying your comfy seats so far? Uh, yeah, and hi to the VIP people. Yeah, uh, hi, hi. Um, and I think today and tomorrow, you might enjoy the quality of pixels. Um, so, enjoy the resolution. I hope you enjoy the new venue. This is the second event we've done here. We think it's a good choice so far, but we will look forward to your feedback as well, okay? The other piece of news about Swift Heroes, and as I say, this is practically invisible, but it's something that we think is quite important and we think is important for, for you guys as part of the iOS developer community. So, Swift Heroes has always <laughs> been organized been intended as a not-for-profit event, okay? It's a community event. And it was always organized by Synesthesia, the technology company. However, <laughs> it's now organized by SIX, yes, which stands for Share Your Experience. SIX is the not-for-profit arm of Synesthesia, okay? 
that's why we're all still the same people. We've just been re-employed by the not-for-profit arm, okay? And not a lot's changed, even the branding. <laughs> um, but the feeling has changed because we were always meant to be a not-for-profit event. We were, but now bureaucratically, we're also a not-for-profit event. Um, we wanted to share that with you because honestly, Swift Heroes has always been for the community. And now truly, even like at a slightly boring but bureaucratical level, it really truly is, okay? Small information to share with you. All right, no one bought a ticket to hear me talk on stage. No, I don't see any hands up. Um, we do have two great days of content, of great speakers, um, of new iOS tech dev information for you. Who's going to be leading you through that excellent agenda? It's Mr. iOS Dev himself. Um, it's the hair of the community. It's mobile platform leader for Synesthesia. Let's welcome Stefano Mondino. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Are you okay? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad to be here again. Uh, eight time, I guess, or I lose count. I can only count to four. I, okay. So that's, that's my limit. Uh, great to be here. Welcome back to, uh, to the Swift Heroes stage. I know you were just trying to remind me about something, and the thing that you were probably trying to remind me of is that even though I mentioned that we're a um, not-for-profit event, we still have fantastic sponsors, don't we? Yeah, exactly. We do. And, uh, they're really great. Uh, it's really great to have them here. Yeah, and, and we should take a moment to thank those sponsors because not-for-profit doesn't change that fact. Um, we work with really great companies who support our event. Um, let's take a moment to thank those. So first of all, our gold sponsor, Synesthesia. Round of applause. I can't clap. I've got the microphone. I have to applaud. You can do, you can do that. Uh, really all right. Our silver sponsors, Flutter and JetBrains. Yep. <laughs> our bronze sponsors, Satispay and Amplifon X. Yep. <laughs> Good with the whistling. Now listen, all of those companies I've just mentioned, they're all around in the networking exhibition area, okay? So if you're interested in those companies, what they're doing, why they're here, why they might be useful for you, go and find them in the coffee and lunch breaks, okay? Everybody online, they've got digital booths as well, so check them out. You're gonna be checking them out? Of course. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's also thank our supporting partners and also our community partners. Hit the round of applause. All right, and that's everybody we wanted to thank at this stage of the show. So, Steph, here we are again. Tell me, um, in the last year, something, what's changed in iOS Dev for you? What's new? What's different? Well, what changed? I mean, we, the, the thing that happened is that we all get acquainted and uh, used to our technologies. Uh, for me, it was first RX Swift and back in the days, and then combined, and then Apple came out after the last WC and basically told us, uh, get rid of it. We don't want it uh, anymore. So Zwift 6 came out, and uh, every developer uh, is probably starting or attempting to migrate everything to Zwift 6, which is not the most easy thing to do or the most straightforward thing to do. But still, we are trying. So that's the main thing going around, uh, I think, at least uh, on, on Zwift uh, uh, in the last year, more or less. OK, good. So there was a lot of things that you mentioned there. It's some Bob's tech business. Um, but you didn't mention artificial intelligence. Has there anything changed or fresh or new in AI that's affecting your world? Yeah, so uh, um, Xcode uh, started getting uh, predictive code completion, which is uh, a fancy name for a thing that doesn't work, basically. Ah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, basically it's something that should help you coding, uh, but uh, only helps you uh, swearing more and, <laughs> you know, being really more mad at your computer. Uh, there are some alternative tools. We are starting to evaluate that in uh, Synesthesia and my team, uh, like Copilot. Uh, we are about to start to, uh, to, to try Cursor AI and other things. Uh, I think that on the Apple side, uh, artificial intelligence for coding is slightly behind other technologies like JavaScript. Is it a technology, JavaScript? Well, it's an opinion. Anyway, mm. uh, but I think that we will get it at some point. Okay. All right. Well, that sounds interesting. We might be hearing something about that in the next couple of days. Exactly. Um, but just tell me and the lovely people, have you made one of those um, action figure Stefano Mondinos? Yeah, like the, the Gen Mojis. Yeah. yeah, I tried that by, you know, 
trying to create a meme of myself, but it didn't went well because m I don't know why my jaw is really big, <laughs> more than it is in the in the reality, and uh, I still have to tweak it in the in the right way. Okay, improvement we'll still. All right, so Steph's going to be taking you through the show. He's going to be introducing all of your lovely speakers. He will be handling your questions. I want you to make him work hard. Deal. Deal. All right, thanks. All right, Steph, you have a great show. Thanks. See you later.